Happy birthday, sweetie. What ability did you get? I got see who people end up with. That's wonderful. You can try it out on us. Here, touch daddy's hand. Well, did you see your mommy? I see Julie. Julie? The nanny? Uh, I don't know what she's talking about. Clearly, I end up with you. Jess, can you please use your ability on me? No, nothing ever good comes of it. I just want to make sure I don't end up alone. Fine. Well? You end up with Frankie. But Frankie's a girl. I love boys, I swear. Barbara, I don't care who you love. Oh, well, I guess Frankie is pretty cute. And she's funny. You guys would be great together. Jess, can you use your ability on me? Ben, you ask me every day and the answer never changes. No. But I've liked this girl forever and I need to know if she's worth waiting for. Whatever will be, will be. You literally use your ability on everyone else. That's because it's my ability. I get to choose when I want to use it. Wait, are you scared to see who I end up with? No. Yes, you are. Jess, you like me. I do not. Uh-huh, sure. You totally like me. You know what? Fine. I'll use my ability to get you to stop saying that. Great. Well, who do I end up with? Okay, let's see what ability I get today. Control love? Sending tools now. A bow and arrow? I wonder what this does. Ow! What was that for? Sorry, Mom. Just testing out my new ability. Well, be careful where you aim that thing. I'm still not sure what you do. I'll get it. Well, hello, Mr. Mailman. You are looking different today. I am? It makes you fall in love with the next person you see. Besides me, of course. Hey, Jess. Hey, Alice. What ability did you get? You can't tell anyone, okay? Okay. I can control who people fall in love with. No way. Girl, you have to make Jake fall in love with me. I've been obsessed with him forever. Girl, I got you. <gasps> there he is. <laughs> did you mean to hit Gross Garrett with that arrow? Run! Hey, Alice, I love you. How's hiding from Gross Garrett? Not great. He was hiding inside my locker, just waiting for me to open it so he could ask me to be his valentine. Did he jump out at you? He tried, but he got stuck. The fire department had to come cut him out of my locker. You owe me. Can you please try hitting Jake again with your arrow? Sure. I know I'll have better aim this time. You better. <gasps> no, no, no. That's Jake's brother. <sighs> Jess, is it true you can make people fall in love? No. Really? Then what's the bow and arrow for? For fun. Yeah, right. Can you please make Connor fall in love with me? He's over there. Will you do it? Fine, but please don't tell anyone else about my ability. My lips are sealed. I promise. Hey, Jenny. Whoa, I actually hit them. Have you been missing? No. Jess. 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 Can you do me a favor? Jess, there you are. Did anyone follow you in here? No. Why? Because people found out about my ability and now everyone wants me to make them fall in love with each other. I'm almost out of arrows. How many do you have left? One. How come this one's a different color than the rest? I don't know. Maybe it's like extra love or something. <gasps> you have to use that one on Jake for me. Please, Jess, you owe me. You're right, but I can't mess this one up, so we have to get Jake alone. Follow me. Psst, Jake, come in here for a second. We need to talk to you. Uh, okay. So, what's going on, ladies? Ow! Bullseye. Finally. My head is spinning. Jess, you look really good. Wait, me? You mean Alice, right? No, I mean you. I think we found out why the arrow was a different color. Red means he falls in love with you. Oops. See who people are in love with or see who they last kissed? That sounds kind of juicy. And I love the drama. Now let's see if it works. Yes, it works. Billie Jean. Ow, why did you grab me so hard? Wait, you kissed Danny? Why didn't you tell me? Because it just happened. It did? Yes, I'm finally in a situation ship. I am so happy for you. Principal Franklin, high five. You're in a good mood this morning. Wait, are you married? Yes. Then why have you been kissing Miss Fitz? That is a very strong accusation, young lady, and certainly not true. Now get to class. I'm dating a man now, not a boy, and he's a really good kisser. Who is it? It's none of your business, Jess. We'll see about that. Ow! 
Get your slimy hands off me. You're dating my brother? Gross. Was oh. that good for you? The best. <sighs> Only two more to go. Are you done with your kiss list yet? Almost. You're so slow. I finished my 10 so fast. Wait, 10? I've had to kiss a thousand. Oh, yikes. Who do you have to kiss next? Emma. That shouldn't be too hard. She's had a crush on you forever. Yeah, but it's gonna break her. Hey, Emma. You're on my kiss list. Cool, but how do I get on your let's have seven kids and live happily ever after together list? Maybe if it's a really good kiss, then you can make it on that list. Awesome. Come here. Did I make it on the list? TBD. Okay, only one more kiss to go before I meet my soulmate. That shouldn't be too hard. Edward, you're on my kiss list. You're doing that dumb thing too? Yeah, everyone is. Not me. I don't care who my soulmate is. I'm saving my kiss for marriage. What? But if you don't kiss me, I'll never find out who my soulmate is. Don't make me feel bad about a decision I made for myself. Edward, I'm sorry. It's just I kissed 999 people to get to this point. And you don't think you were compatible with any of them? I don't know. I was just waiting for the system to tell me my soulmate. Maybe you shouldn't let the system define your happiness. So what do you suggest? I kiss them all again and this time actually think about compatibility? Oliver, can we kiss? We already did. I know, but it's going to be different this time. If you say so. Ugh, but still just as awful as the first time. Emma, could we kiss again? I thought you'd never ask. Would you want to... Grab dinner sometime? Cool. Where have you been? Long story, but Edward wouldn't kiss me. Oh, why don't you just get a new person to kiss? Wait, you can do that? Yeah, it happens all the time. Who is it? Emma's brother. Trevor? Yeah. You don't think she'll be mad, right? Emma. Hey, cutie. Still on for Cheesecake Factory tonight at 8? Sounds great. I just wanted to let you know, though, that I need to kiss your brother. What? Why? Because once I kiss him, I'll find out who my soulmate is. Okay, so you kiss him, and then what? What if I'm not your soulmate? I... I don't know. Whatever. Go ahead and kiss him, Jess. But do me a favor and decide if you want to be with me before our date tonight. Yeah, for sure. How'd it go with Emma? <sighs> kind of good, kind of bad. She said I need to decide if I want to be with her by tonight. You better go find Trevor then. Trevor, there you are. You're my last kiss. Well then, we better get to it. <sighs> Emma, so my gut was right. Thanks, Trevor. Emma, has anyone seen Emma? No, sorry. <laughs> Emma, what's wrong? I don't want to talk about it. Come on, just tell me. Everyone's trying to complete their kiss list, but you know what happened when I tried to complete mine? What? Not one single person wanted to kiss me. I even used all my rematches. I know this probably all sounds really stupid, but it just hurt. It's not stupid. They're stupid for not wanting to kiss you. Thanks, Jess. It just sucks because I'll never get to figure out who my real soulmate is. I think you will. Yeah, right. Because I'm your soulmate. Really? Yeah. So I guess we're still on for tonight. See you there. Gabby, what is this soulmate lock thing? Wait, you didn't hear? No. Everyone is able to change their soulmate until you want to lock it in with that person. Once it's locked in, soulmates for life. All I can say is I'm really glad we can change it. Who did you get? Come on, tell me. Eric. Wait, he's mm -hmm. the one that... So, so gross. gross. Hey, Jess. Hi. <clears throat> Hi, Danny. I got you as my soulmate. Wait, really? Yeah, you want to lock it in? Yeah. Great. So you got me too, right? Uh-huh. Let's do it, right? But let's lock it in at lunch, because that's way more romantic than chemistry. I think chemistry's pretty I'll romantic. See there. Give me Danny. Give me Danny. 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 Jess, did you get Danny yet? No, I've gone through like 500 names and haven't gotten a single Danny. What are you going to do? Hey, Danny, did you still want to lock in? Yeah. Wait, I want to make sure you got my name. What do you mean? Well, my first name's Ryan. I just go by Danny. Wait, what? If your name's Ryan, why do you go by Danny? Because I like Danny better. My full name's Ryan Danny Jr. It's a play on- Robert Danny Jr. I get it. So do you not have Ryan? No, I do. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Great, well, let's lock in. There, I locked in. Your turn. There, all locked in. Awesome, I'll see you later, babe. Jess, did you lock in? No, I couldn't. What do you mean? His name's not even Danny, it's Ryan. I don't even know who this Danny guy is. Aw, uh, I'm so sorry it didn't work out. Well, he locked in. Wait, what? Jess, you have to tell Danny you didn't actually lock in. What even happens when you lock in with someone that doesn't lock in back? I don't know for sure, but it happened to my uncle, and all I can say is now he lives on a private island with 14 cats. Oh. Oh? Yeah, I thought it was going to be something, like, horrible. For extroverts, like Danny, that is horrible. Hey, Danny, I need to tell you something. What? I didn't actually lock in. Wait, what? I had Ryan, like, 500 soulmates ago. But now we have Danny, and since that's actually not your name, I couldn't lock in. This is the worst day ever! I'm really sorry, but I think you'll enjoy your private island with cats. Huh? I just lost a thousand dollars because I bet Noah you'd lock in with me. I didn't lock in with you. Oh. Well, good. But also... Ow! You're a jerk! Bobby! <laughs> Did you forget? You're my line buddy. No, I didn't forget. I'm going to be Sarah's line buddy today. But you're my boyfriend. Yeah, not anymore. Here's your heart back, Beth. It's broken. Princess Beth, I told you to be careful. You only have two hearts left. Don't let another break, okay? What happens if they all break? Something very bad, so don't let it happen. You got a valentine. I did? From who? I don't know. Here, there's a note. Wanna be my valentine? Meet me by the bleachers. Charlie. Charlie, here's my heart. And here's mine, Beth. Put it away. What's everyone looking at? Elsa's Insta. She's with a boy that looks like Charlie. Let me see. It's kind of hard to tell since they're kissing. No, that's not him. And he wouldn't cheat on me. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Like, really, Charlie? She accidentally posted the pic. I want my heart back. Fine. Here it is. Princess Beth, you are prohibited from dating. Do you hear me? You will have an arranged marriage with the prince now. You can't have another heartbreak. And what if he breaks my last heart? You won't let him. Hey, Prince Philip. Beth. May I have your heart, Beth? Please don't break it. I won't. I promise. You look so beautiful. Mother, please don't cry. I can't help it. My daughter is going to be the queen of Wonderland. You grew up so quickly. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Beth! Princess Beth! Janice, why aren't you sitting down? Because there's something I have to tell you. Well, it better be important because you're preventing me from walking down the aisle. It is. I saw Prince Philip holding hands with this girl, Alice. She is new to the kingdom. I'm sure it was nothing. I thought so too, until I found this. It could be anyone's. Beth, turn it around. It has your name on it. I'm so sorry, Beth. Ow! Out of my way, Janice. Oh, Alice. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Alice? Beth, what are you doing? What are you doing, Prince Philip? Kissing girls on our wedding day. We weren't kissing. Let me explain. No. I'm gonna show you what it's like to lose. What's wrong with the queen to be? All her hearts broke. And? And that means she doesn't have one anymore. I would hate to be the girl she's looking for. There you are, Alice. Come on up here. I've been waiting for you. Alice, hasn't anyone ever told you to stay away from things that aren't yours? Prince Philip loves me. He loves you? Really? Yes. Well, guards, off with her head. Off with her head. Beth, are you senseless? You're going to be header because we have a thing. So you do love her? Yes, I do. And I wasn't going to tell you because I had a feeling you would do something like this. Well, I'm glad I'm not going to disappoint. Guards, hurry up. I'm tired of looking at her. Alice, run! Stop her! Queen Beth? You better have good news. Uh, we can't seem to find her. Then keep looking. We think she might have left the kingdom. And Prince Philip? He's still sobbing in the chapel. You know what? Forget the girl. Bring me Prince Philip's head instead. But he's the future king. Not anymore. Uh... Why are you still standing here? Do you need a demonstration? I'll happily behead you two instead. Uh, no, no, no. We're, we're good. Then go get his head. 
Would you like to switch bodies with your soulmate? Now this is going to be interesting. Why do my teeth hurt? I have braces? How you doing? Has anyone seen Jess? Um, I'm right here. What? Oh, um, I mean, she's probably in class. Oh. Hey, braces kid. You're looking good today. Ow! How did you do that? I have the ability to switch bodies with my soulmate. Oh, so that's your soulmate. Yeah, Becky, you backstabber. I didn't know. You're uninvited to my birthday. Ah! Oh! You know, this could be a great way to figure out how people act behind my back. Hey, football players. Why are you talking to us? You want us to give you a wedgie? What? No. Then don't talk to us, brace face. Dang, I didn't realize my soulmate was getting bullied by those guys. He's always so positive. Hey, Janice. Hi, braces kid. What do you think of Jess? The one with blonde hair? Yeah. The one who doodles on her paper? Yeah. The one who wet her pants in the second grade? Yeah. She's I. But did you hear the rumor about her? No, what? That is not true. Wait, Jess? And even if I was practicing kissing in the girls' bathroom, it doesn't make me a bad kisser. Being in my soulmate's body isn't as fun as I thought it would be. But maybe I could do one good thing for my soulmate while I still have some time left. Hey, football players. We've been telling you not to talk to us, braces kid. I'm telling you that you're never going to pick on me again. Oh, really? Get him, boys. Wedgie, wedgie. Stop! Wait, Jess? Where'd you come from? Excuse me? Were you just going to wedgie Jess? Yeah, they were. No, it was someone else. Uh-huh. My office? Now. Brace's kid is a weirdo. He's a shapeshifter. I might have just made that worse. But hopefully they never pick on my soulmate again. Soulmate controls your hair or your eyebrows? I'm concerned what they would do to my eyebrows, so... Soulmate wants you to dye your hair? Okay, never mind. I choose eyebrows. Really? This is going to ruin my hair. I can't believe you made me do that. And the bangs, really? Jess, are you okay? Why? You dyed your hair and got bangs. That screams crisis. My soulmate made me do it. Does it look horrible? No, you look like Annie. Like the orphan? No, the other one. What other one? Oh, there's the bell. See you later. There was no bell. Whoa, Jess, I almost didn't recognize you there for a minute. Yeah, you're like the 20th person to tell me that today. Your soulmate controls your hair? Yeah. Wait, I think I might know who your soulmate is. Who? I think Jason. I overheard him saying he was going to mess with his soulmate all week. Great. Hopefully today's options are better than yesterday's. Soulmate controls your eyebrows or your mouth? If I pick mouth, they might make me say peculiar things. We're going eyebrows. And we're going back to blonde, to the salon. Thanks for getting all the red out. I finally look like myself again. Mm -hmm. Although something looks different. About that. Where are my eyebrows? It was really strange. They kind of just fell off when I was washing your hair. Do you know why that happened? Jess, you know the rule, no hats in class. Why? It's not distracting anyone. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Take your hat off. Thank you. Now, Jess, can you tell us what X equals? 45. I can't hear you. 45. Please look at me when you're speaking. The answer's <laughs> 45. Thank you for answering. What? You've never seen a girl with shaved eyebrows? Jess, your eyebrows aren't shaved. They look like someone doodled on your face. <gasps> I'm gonna find my soulmate and then punch him in the face. Why are you so violent today? Why do you think, Becky? I don't know. Jess, just forget her. She isn't worth your time. Didn't Luke tell you something about Jason? You're right. Jason. Whoa, someone forgot it wasn't Halloween today. Are you the one that's choosing my eyebrows? Why? Are you hoping I'm your soulmate? Just answer the question. Sorry to disappoint, but it's not me. I control my soulmate's toes today. But if it's not you, then who? Thank goodness yesterday's over. Let's see my options. Soulmate controls my eyes or soulmate controls my nose? Well, at least it's not eyebrows. I guess we're going with eyes. Jess, ah! What? You need to put these on now and not take them off. Jess, you know the rules. No sunglasses in class. Mr. Fitz, trust me. You don't want me taking these off. Trust me. I do. Ah! Take the glasses off. Ah!
Put him back on. Put him back on. Please put him back on. I warned you, Mr. Fitz. You keep those glasses on the rest of the day, okay? Oh, hey, watch where sorry. you're going. I can't see anything in here with these shades on. Why are you wearing those inside? Because my soulmate controls my eyes today. Really? Let me see. Oh. What did you just do? Nothing. You just touched something above your head. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. What's your name? Paul. Paul what? Paul Potter. Paul Potter, are you my soulmate? I think so. Why did you hit me in the face? Because I told everyone I would after everything you put me through this week. And I am not a liar. I guess I deserved that. But now you gotta kiss me so we can find out if we're actually soulmates. Girls are weird. Well? Soulmate found. Soulmate no longer yes. controls you. Well, Paul, looks like you are my soulmate. Then why are you putting those back on? Because Mr. Fitz is letting me wear these the rest of the day, and I've been napping in his class. Girl, he didn't break up with you because you're ugly. He broke up with you because you cleaned the toilet with his toothbrush. Cupid? Sending supplies. Huh. So I just... Ow! What the heck? Did you just hit me with an arrow? Wait, you're really pretty. Ew, <gasps> gross, sis. This isn't Sweet Home Alabama. Get away from me. Now, how do I get people to fall in love with other people? Ow! <gasps> oh, no. Who did that? I accidentally hit Billy Jean's boyfriend, Brian. Hello, Jess. No, get away from me. I need to hide. Jess! Billy Jean, have you seen Brian? I haven't. He's acting weird. He's been avoiding me all day. I'm sure he's just being Brian. I know a way to take your mind off him. What? Ow! Hello, Principal Franklin. Billy Jean, no. So it's the first person you see that you fall in love with. But how do I undo this? I don't know, but I'm gonna go find Ben Franklin. No, anything less than 20 and I'll be happy. 568? That's a lot. I just know Becky will make fun of me for this. I'm gonna make it private. Hey Jess. Hey Olivia. Why is your soulmate's count on private? Because it's personal to them. It's no one else's business. The whole point of making it public is to find your soulmate quicker. Yeah, well, I'll find him when the time is right. Will you at least tell me how many people your soulmates loved? I don't know. Come on, I'm your best friend. I'll tell you how many mine's loved. Zero. I'm gonna be there first. Isn't that so romantic? Yeah, I'm happy for you. Now your turn. How many? 568. Five, six, Eight? Yeah, I'm trying not to judge them. Now I see why you made it on private. Becky, this is an A-B conversation. See yourself out. Fine, I already got all the gossip I needed. You don't think she's gonna tell anyone, right? She is big beak Becky. Jess, is it true your soulmate loves 568 people? No. Really? Then why don't you show us? Because I don't have to. Sounds like Becky was right if you ask <sighs> me. I guess since everyone already knows, I might as well make it public. Maybe I can find them faster. Um, Jess, your soulmate's love count is going up as we speak. Dang, look at her count. How is that possible? Haha, <laughs> look who's making it private again. Class, settle down. We have a new student I want to introduce you to. Everyone say hi, Charlie. Hi, hi Charlie. Charlie. You can sit wherever you'd like. Hey, is this seat taken? No, go ahead. It's Jess, right? Yeah. Charlie. How do you know my name? I saw it written on your notepad. I hope that's not weird. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Peppa recommended I ask you for notes for this week's lesson. She said you have the highest grade in the class. Oh, uh, yeah, you can have them. Thanks. Did you want to come over after school to get the notes? To your house? Yeah. Sure, I'll see you then. You did what? I was trying to be bold. My soulmates loved over 700 people. I can love one before meeting them. Yeah, you're right. Just be safe. He's here. Hi. Hi. Can I come in? Yes, come on in. So, uh, have you found your soulmate yet? No, you? Not yet, but I'm not in any rush. Yeah, me neither. My soulmate's fallen in love with a lot of people, so I'm trying to catch up before I meet them. Really? How many? 700, and counting. Do you think that's bad? Well, I don't think it's good. Right, uh... I gotta go. Are you sure? Yeah, I just remembered that I promised my sister I'd help her with her homework, so, uh, bye. Wait, you for- Got the notes. I really hope he's not my soulmate. If so, I totally ruined that. <laughs> what is going on with my soulmate? I didn't even know your love before count could go down. Charlie? What are you doing here? Did you come back for the notes? No.
I came back because I'm your soulmate. How do you know that you're my soulmate? Because it's not very common to have loved that many people. And you have loved that many people? Yes. Okay. Wow. You've got game. I don't really have game. It's just kind of my thing. What thing? I just kind of fall in love a little bit with everyone I meet. Everyone? Well, not everyone. You have to be a good person. But then when I met you, I realized it wasn't real love. It wasn't true love. It explains why your count's going down. But this love I feel for you, it's never compared. I really love you. I love you too. Mom, I woke up with this butterfly and it won't come off. All the girls your age got one. If it turns gold, you're the prince's match. I really hope mine turns gold. You and every other girl. Don't be late for school. In past years, the blue butterfly is the one that's most likely to turn gold. BFFR, yours is blue. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna be the princess. You're so lucky. Yeah, I know. Jess? Jessica? Yeah? Your butterfly won't turn gold by looking at it, so pay attention. Sorry. Psst, do you really think your butterfly is gonna turn gold? Well, it doesn't hurt to hope. I'm just trying to give you a heads up. It's not gonna happen. Wait, guys, mine turned gold. Oh my goodness, come with me. Principal Franklin, we have the gold butterfly. Alert the prince. That's weird, somebody already came in with the gold butterfly. Becky, yours is gold too? Not too. Tell them you're lying. I'm not lying. Yes, she is. Principal Franklin, I have the real gold butterfly. Do not. Do too. Girls, enough. There's only one way to figure this out. A lie detector test? My wife got it for me for Christmas. I've been wanting to try it out. This looks very old. It is. I just hope it's not the kind that electrocutes you if you lie. That would be hard to explain to the school board. I'm not keeping this on. I'm joking. I'm so sorry you got electrocuted when I turned it on. It must be faulty wiring. Just call the prince, okay? Let him tell us which one he wants. Okay, but if one of you is caught lying, you'll be punished by the royal family. Fine by me, I'm telling the truth. You're really not lying about the gold butterfly? You have it too? Girls, the prince is here to see you both. Here are the girls with the gold butterfly. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hi. I'm so sorry for the mix-up. We're really not sure what happened, but the girl that is supposed to have the gold butterfly is Jess. Now, which one of you is Jess? I am. Becky, I'm gonna wring your necky. Ah! Girls, quit that. <clears throat> Prince Dalton, the one in the purple is Jess. Hi. Nice to meet you. Becky, get back to class. Wait, before I go, can I just say one thing? Prince Dalton, don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Did you just quote the Pussycat Dolls? Maybe. Becky, thank you for um, expressing yourself, but I already chose Jess. I hope she didn't cause you too much trouble impersonating you. No, just a little stress and electrocution. She electrocuted you? No, Principal Franklin did. What? Why? Long story. Well, you can tell me all about it on the way to the castle. My driver's gonna take us there now. But there is one thing you should know first. It's not guaranteed you're going to be the princess. But I'm your match. Yes, but I have to get my mother's approval first. She hasn't approved anyone in the past. Mom, this is Jess. Be nice. Josephine, it is so nice to meet oh, you. It's just Jess or Jessica. But you are regal now. You need a more elegant name. You can decide between Josephine and Jessabeth. Um, Jessabeth it is then. Great. Now being a princess is a big responsibility. You're in charge of cleaning everything from the horse pen to mopping the floor. That kind of sounds like Cinderella. Exactly. But shouldn't I be training to be the queen one day? Not unless you plan on getting rid of me. No, I just meant- It's okay, you're still learning. I forgive you. Now follow me. Psst, how to go with my mom. Horrible, Jezebeth, I... don't worry, she loved you. She did? Yes, she approved for us to be a match. I knew you were perfect. Prince Dalton, I- Come on, it's almost time for our engagement dinner. Would you let me talk? My name is Jessica. And with all due respect, your mother was horrible to me today. She treated me like Cinderella and barely let me speak. No offense, but I have no desire to be a part of this family. Jess. What? It was a test. What? There are going to be times where people are going to try and walk all over you. Today was a test to see if you'd speak up. I don't believe you. It's true, Jess. It was hard for me to be disrespectful to you because you're such a sweet girl, but you need to have a backbone to be a princess. And now we can see you have one. We would love for you to be a part of our family if you accept. If you swear it was an act, I'll give it a second chance. I swear. 
I can't believe the wedding is one week away. I know, how is everything going there? Okay, I guess. Sometimes I feel like we have nothing in common, but the system put us together, so... I'll call you back. Come in. Sorry to interrupt, but my sister has been dying to meet you. Are you free for lunch? Jezebeth, over here. It's Jessica. I know, I just wanted to be in on the joke. So how's everything going with my brother? Fine. Royalty is not an easy job. Not at all. We knew my brother's original match wouldn't be able to handle it. Original match? Wait, my mother didn't tell you? No. My brother was originally matched with this girl named Becky. I think she might have even gotten a gold butterfly. But when my mom saw her profile, she did not approve. So she did a little switcheroo and gave you the gold butterfly too. So the prince handpicked me? Not the prince, my mom. Prince Dalton doesn't know about the switch. My mom told him Becky was an imposter and you were his match. So you're lying to him. Why? Because he's a rule follower. He wants to marry the girl the system gave him. Jess, how was lunch with my sister? Enlightening. Enlightening? How so? I'm sorry, I can't marry you. Jess, wait, why are you leaving? Because I'm not the one for you. What do you mean? We're not compatible. All we've talked about since meeting is the royal duties and the wedding. We have nothing in common. That's not true. We have stuff in common. That's why you got the gold butterfly. About that. Look, I know the wedding planning can be stressful. Let me take you out tonight. Go-karting? Don't tell me you don't like it. No, I love it. You do? Race you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have laughed that hard in my entire life. It was so bad you won. <laughs> he shouldn't have been so cocky. So are you still <laughs> so sure we have nothing in common? <laughs> Prince Dalton, there's something I need to tell you. What? Becky had the real gold butterfly. Becky had the real gold butterfly. What do you mean? Your mother didn't approve of her, so she hacked the system and gave me one as well. Then she told you I was the one with the real gold butterfly. And you've known this this whole time? No, your sister told me today at lunch and I've been wanting to tell you ever since. I just, I didn't know how. I can't believe my mother would do that. I can't be with you, Jess. I'm sorry. I know. Go get your Becky. Jess, is that you? Where's your butterfly? What's wrong? We broke up. Jess, someone's here to see you. Who? Hey, can we talk? What do you want? As much as it pains me to admit it, my mother was right. About? You? Us? Becky just makes me want to wring her necky. Yeah, she tends to have that effect on people. I brought you this. Any chance I could win you back? I think you might have.